Kendall. Trickling under the all-weather coat water. Running thinly over the brim and clay. A hand parts the bracken, shaking, scoops up a palm. Dry retching all morning. Pushes himself away from the earth. The dank smell has swirled in and settled. Turns and sees the chestnut dark and hanging its head. Passes a few miles. Escape was a note curled in a bottle, looking and talking and forgetting where. Turning he sees, hears, sniffs up what he said then. It's in the bush. Sober but entranced, he'd strained to see it overseas. Was happily thus convinced there it is. Drunk, said, was the bush here. Adam had taken his good racing saddle and done it in the bush. He knew why. That way it couldn't, at the last, elude him. It did. It did. McRae. Them all. Turning away from it to that fairer, further shore. Winning an hundred guineas in an international exhibition. Dry, mate? Yes. Couldn't see anything then, effort. So Sir Henry Parks could put him back in. Where is he now? Away from the notes and the bottles. Settling better in the saddle. At least feeling the cold, head splitting. A couple of days he'd be clear of it. The places, Mooney, Arara, Narara, written of Araluan, dead daughter, and reassured they would escape across the wild, wide waters to that other shore. Heading north, Greek and Latin, turning to face, Corinbean, Christmas Creek, the damned months of it, the odd jingle of bit, the creaking stopped, silence, opens a great valley and it just one of, part of. Falling with the creeks, the sandstone blurred, brilliant green moss through gum leaves, almost now, one supposed, a traditional green. If they could see this, oaks, she-oaks, and the white, white bodies of the gums revolving in a great, dim hall, sparkling drops, Watch them pass as you fall. See this. Persephone's tears. Magnificence. Wonder. Precious, thin, curved leaves of it. Plod. Plod in this. Hear the water. Smell it. Down there. That way. The sea and a big rock, pecked with fishes, wallabies. <laughs>